what is up? Welcome back. And if this is the first time that you are here, well then, welcome. If you are interested in seeing more of this beautiful face, then you can just subscribe down there. I am a very positive person. I love to bring out just good vibes so I can receive double of that good vibe from the universe. If you guys are all into positivity, sharing love, self-love, then you should subscribe. I am a weight loss patient. I had weight loss surgery approximately two years ago now. And if you want a little backstory, then you can just click right here. There's a whole bunch of videos that I have about my weight loss journey. But as you guys can see from the title of this video, this isn't going to be anything related to weight loss. This is actually going to be an update on my girls. So if you guys do not know, I actually had a breast lift with an augmentation on December 11th, 2018. So it has been officially three months. Yes, three months. Good job, Izzy. You know how to count. So this video is not going to be too long. I don't intend it to be a long video. I am just going to be updating you and actually informing you girls that are interested in doing this procedure what I wish I would have known before. So the very first thing that I'm going to put out there is that I know there is a lot of stigma and there is a lot of topics about women and why breast implants aren't really the safest thing to put into your body. So for me, if you do not know my backstory, I was at my heaviest weight ever. I was 270 pounds. My current weight is 130 pounds right here. This is me. And because of that, I had a total weight loss of 140 pounds. Obviously, when you lose so much weight like that, the girls that you originally had are going to be looking real sad. I was very obese the majority of my life, so my breasts were always very large. Now, when I lost so much weight, my breasts disappeared, pretty much. I didn't have any breasts, I just had pretty much tissue. Flat tissue, to be exact. Because, well, gravity is a bitch, and whatever goes up must come down. So, that's pretty much what happened. I got breast implants mainly because of aesthetic reasons. I was very unhappy with my breasts, I'm not gonna lie. I always push self-love out there, but I'm not going to lie, I was very unhappy with my breasts. I live here in Miami, I sat down with various surgeons, and I went with the surgeon that not only had the best reviews online, from patients, but also the one that I just felt more comfortable with. Money-wise, I didn't really care how much money I was gonna spend. When it's in regards to your health and all that stuff, the surgeon that probably is gonna do it for the cheapest might not be the safest. So obviously from the get-go, I knew that I not only had to have breast implants inserted, but I also knew that I had to have a lift due to the fact that, once again, my breasts were very saggy. Just keep that in mind when you are visiting your surgeon and depending on what surgeon you are gonna go with, keep in mind that there's different techniques to different lifts depending on the patient. If the doctor knows what he's doing, then he's gonna recommend the best lift for you. In regards to lift, there's different types of scars and all that stuff. I think I actually talked about that on my second breast augmentation journey. So another topic that I want to get into is breastfeeding. Now, I am not yet a mother. I hope to become a mother soon. Ish. I really want to be able to breastfeed my children. That's something that I you know, really, really want to do. Unless I just don't lactate milk, then that won't be you know, on my part. That's just the universe's plan for me and my children. I just won't be able to lactate. But if it's for me, I do want to be able to breastfeed my children. Just be aware that if you do breastfeed, um, whether or not you have breast implants, that does cause droopiness either way throughout the years when you are going to be wearing your implants that is also going to cause droopiness but the reason why i brought up the topic of breastfeeding is because since i do want to breastfeed my children that was my number one concern when i sat down with the surgeon i was like when i do a breast lift is that going to impair the chances of me being able to breastfeed my children and surprisingly he said no you know i beg to differ since i you know the areola is basically down here and you have to move it all the way up here I thought that was going to just affect the chances of breastfeeding. And sometimes, for some people, it does. Um, this is He warned me about this. But the majority of the cases, it doesn't. So I was super happy with that because that was my main concern. So if you guys are interested in knowing a little bit more on how my recovery process went, this video is up here as well. You can click this to see how I went from the day before getting surgery up to two weeks after surgery. Being officially three months post-op, I am super super happy with my breasts and I do not regret anything that I did and even though I am super happy with everything there was one thing that really really scared me in regards to this 
whole process. And that's pretty much what I wish I would have known before getting breast implants. So my story is that right when I hit that one week post-op and I was actually being able to feel my breasts and actually massage them because you are supposed to massage them just so the implants, you know, get comfortable in your body and your body, you know, gets used to the movement and all that stuff. So I actually had this scare of my life because one day when I was taking a shower and rotating and massaging my breast as you should, I felt on my right breast, right here to be exact, I felt a little lump and I was shook to the core. If you guys do not know, my mother is a breast cancer survivor. She was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer approximately three years ago, almost four and she went through the entire process. She went through chemo, she went through radiation. It had spread, so she eventually had to get a double mastectomy. In regards to that, when one of your family members or yourself has been through something as traumatic as cancer, you know, you become a really open-minded person and you realize that one day you can be here and one day you can't. And that life is a gift and we never know when our final day is gonna be. We should all feel super blessed and super happy that we get to wake up each day alive and healthy. And when I felt that lump, the very first thing that popped into my mind was cancer. And the reason why is because since, like I said, when you have gone or your family has gone through something so traumatic as cancer and that you find a lump in your breast and then it's cancer and you have to go through everything, it's very, very traumatic and it's very, very shocking. So I will put this that with the surgeon that I went with, he did require lab work prior to having surgery and he did require an ultrasound on both breasts, including lymph nodes. So I had a super wide ultrasound of my entire upper chest area prior to having the surgery. Everything came back fine with the ultrasound and with blood work, so I underwent surgery. One week post-op, I noticed a lump. I go back to my consultation, to my doctor, I explain to him what happened. He says, don't worry about it. What could have happened was that since, you know, we were working in there and all that stuff, what could have happened is that a lymph node just got inflammated. That's perfectly normal. It happens sometimes. They go away naturally. I was like, okay, thankfully and hopefully it's that. He told me to give it a week, two at most, and it would have disappeared with time. So I wait a week. I wait two weeks and the lump is still there. Did I trust my surgeon? 100% I did. Did I trust the ultrasound results? Of course I did. But did I have peace of mind? No, I didn't at all. So what I did is I went back to the diagnostic imaging center where I initially had done my breast ultrasound and I went again for another breast ultrasound. I went, I did everything, and the results came back in the mail around five to seven days later and nothing was found. It was just an inflated lymph node. Now that I have peace of mind, definitely and 100%. Three months post-op, do I still have the lymph node inflamed? A little bit. Is it as inflamed as before? Definitely not. Size-wise, I could say that that got up to this big. Not even lying. And now, three months post-op, it's probably the size of a penny. So I am not gonna lie. I have, definitely since I lost weight, I have become a very confident person, all in all. But now that I got my breasts done, I'm like, like nobody can tell me anything anymore. If you tell me something and it's just like pure hate or anything, I'm honestly just like, okay, congrats, like go along with your day. It's not going to bother me because it, it really shouldn't. I have been through such a journey that I do not let anything phase me anymore because why should it? When you go from such an extremity to this point, up to this point, it's really just like, girl, you deserve so much happiness now and you have worked so hard to get where you're at. Why should a simple comment from somebody that you don't even know or even if you do know them, like why should you let that bother you? So the moment that you all have been waiting for, I'm actually gonna show you what my girls look like right now 
and this is actually a bikini top so guys this is what my breast look like remember that my left breast is a 350 cc and my right breast is a 375 cc because my right one was a little bit more droopier than the left one they had to put a bigger implant on this one so they would even out if I'm not wearing this and I actually analyze my breasts they are exactly the same size nothing different about either of them so this is my side profile and if you guys do not remember I'll try to put a before and after here but if you guys don't remember I had nothing I literally had nothing of breast when I would like go anywhere without any type of bra or anything and it's just so comfortable you know one of the best things that I could honestly say about getting a breast lift and breast implants is the fact that I don't have to wear a bra if I don't want to and that's perfectly fine because now I have the most perkiest breasts and they're not gonna droop and they're not gonna look weird without me wearing a bra and whenever I want to wear a crop top now I don't have to wear a strapless I can literally just put the crop top and I'm perfectly fine and I'm out the door another thing that I will mention is the fact that sometimes when you do go through the breast lift procedure sometimes your areolas and your nipples lose sensitivity was I worried about this a little bit because prior to having surgery I wasn't very sensitive on my nipple area if I would you know casually just grace over my nipples I wouldn't necessarily feel anything at times and then I was like well if I undergo a breast lift the chances are that I won't feel anything then so I was worried but that wasn't gonna change my mind so I did it and fun fact I wasn't sensitive prior to undergoing the surgery and then now after pre-op surgery I have the most sensitive nipples ever it's crazy to me because obviously your breasts are full of nerves and all that stuff and sometimes when they're working yeah they might you know mess something up in there and whatnot but thankfully for me I'm sensitive now and it's weird because I've never had the sensation like I casually just like graze through my breast and I feel like I'm just like oh like I feel them and it's so weird to me you guys are probably like this chick is so weird. But honestly, it's it's the truth. If you're gonna take anything away from this video, just be the fact that if you do decide to do anything in your life to better your self-confidence or just your self-esteem, I recommend you do it. If you have the money to change yourself, if you have the money to make yourself happier, why not undergo anything? Why not buy anything that your heart desires? Why not do anything? Why not pursue your dreams? At the end of the day, the only person that's stopping you from being the best you is you. I am super happy with my decision to get a breast lift with a breast augmentation. Fun fact, you're supposed to change your breast implants every 10 months and I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited for that 10th mark. I might go a little bit bigger. Who knows? Even though I've been told by a lot of people that the size that I chose is perfect for my body because it, they're not too big and they're not too small, they're actually just right. And I don't know, that makes me like a happy girl. <laughs> so you guys, I'm going to stop rambling now. I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye guys!